Circuit breaker undoubtedly is one of the crucial equipment in the substation. Let it be the high voltage substation or medium voltage substation or the low voltage panel. Circuit breaker plays a very important role. And in this video, we are going to talk about the four essential parameters of an ideal circuit breaker. Now, why that is important to know? Because when we want to set benchmark, we always have to look at an ideal situation. Even when we talk about our own lives, if we want to have a better life, we will have to think about the ideal situation, right? The same thing also applies to the circuit breaker that we have. So we definitely want to produce the world class circuit breaker. And for that, definitely we need to set some benchmark. And these properties of ideal circuit breaker sets that benchmark. So we are going to talk about those properties in this video. So let us first start by understanding the definition of circuit breaker given by IEC 62271-100 here. So it says circuit breaker is a mechanical device capable of making, carrying and breaking current under normal conditions. Now this word is important here, normal uh, circuit condition and also making carrying for a specified time and breaking currents under specified abnormal circuit conditions such as those of short circuit. So two parts of the definition. Part one says that circuit breaker is a device which is capable of making that means closing carrying and breaking the currents under normal condition normal condition that word is very very important. And the second part of the definition says that it is also a device which is capable of carrying and making, making again closing for a specified time and breaking current under abnormal conditions, which can be a fault situation, right? So every circuit breaker is rated with some short circuit capacity. Let's say, for example, 40 kilo amps for three seconds. So this current breaker should be able to carry for specified time that is three seconds and also it should be able to break that current and also make that current. So that is the proper definition of a circuit breaker given by the IEC standard. Now if you look at the circuit breaker it has two position. Position one is when the contacts are open right the circuit is broken at that time no current is flowing into the circuit that is position one the position two is when the contacts are closed that means the current will start flowing through the system so based on these two conditions uh, the properties four important properties of an ideal circuit breaker has been defined now let us look at that so first, uh, when the circuit breaker is in the closed condition, you can see on the left hand side the image of an interrupter of a vacuum circuit breaker. So this property is definitely applies to all the circuit breakers, the low voltage, medium voltage, the high and the also the extra high voltage circuit breakers. So this is a vacuum circuit breaker interrupter, what you can see on the left hand side. So the first property it says when the circuit breaker is in the closed position, it is a good conductor. So when the breaker is closed, the current will start flowing through the system and ideally it should offer zero resistance to the flow of current ideal situation and withstands thermally and mechanically any current below or equal to the rated short circuit current. So the rating of circuit breaker, uh, let's say the, it is rated for 50 kilo ampere for three seconds. So 50 kilo ampere is what 50 kilo ampere is the rated short circuit current that circuit breaker can take for three seconds. So an ideal circuit breaker is the one who also withstand all the forces generated by this huge short circuit current. So definitely we are talking about 50,000 ampere of current. It will definitely generate very uh, high thermal issues and also mechanical forces. So circuit breaker should withstand that without any issue, right? And that is for limited time period. It is not the case that the 50 kilo ampere will flow, flow for hours. No, it is specific time is defined. So it can be three seconds or it can be one second. So clear with the property one. It is a good conductor when in closed condition, uh, which stand thermally and mechanically uh, any current below or equal to the rated short circuit current. So it should also withstand 50 kilo ampere or 
anything less than that so 40 kilo ampere 30 20 any value which is lesser than that it should withstand without any problem clear that is property one though moving on to the property two it can quickly and safely interrupt any current below or equal to the rated short circuit current so again when it is in the closed position when it is in the closed position if it is rated for 50 kilo ampere then it should be able to break this current quickly and safely of course if the circuit breaker is not able to open the circuit quickly and it takes let's say 10 minutes to open then there is no use because by that time all the equipments that we have connected in the substation will be burned burned out right so there is no point if the circuit breaker opens after 10 minutes so it should operate quickly and the second important part is it should also interrupt that current safely very very important let's say if circuit breaker interrupts the current but uh, as a cost it the circuit breaker also blast so it it make no sense right it should interrupt the current safely it should not harm anything uh, in near to that so quickly and safe interruption is what is needed so that is property number two when circuit breaker is in closed condition now moving on to the second position of the circuit breaker that is when the breaker is in open condition so when the contact starts separating the breaker is set to be in open position the circuit is broken so in that position it is a good insulator meaning that there won't be any arc happening because what is happening is we have separated the contacts but at both the end of the contacts there will be voltage so let's me draw it here so let's say this is my circuit breaker it has opened and there will be voltage here there will be voltage here now if voltage force is very high there is a possibility that there will be arc stuck in here in between the contacts which is what we want to avoid and that's what the ideal property of the circuit breaker defines it is a good insulator and withstand the voltage between the contacts the voltage to ground or to other phases of course there will be other phases also connected in parallel with that so definitely there should not be any problem between these two phases as well right clear understood the property number three when the breaker is in open condition it is a good insulator and it withstand the rated voltage of the system of course we are talking about the rated voltage here so if if you expect that a circuit breaker which is rated for 52 kV should also withstand 145 kV then that is the wrong assumption right so that should not happen so that is property number three now moving on to the final property uh, when it is in open condition it can quickly and safely close a shorted circuit so if there is an existing fault then definitely the circuit breaker should be able to quickly and safely close the contacts in faulty condition as well right a reclosing duty can happen so it should uh, close the breaker uh, in faulty condition also that again quickly and safely and by the way if you're interested in knowing what is reclosing duty i have a video on that i'll provide link for that uh, down in the description so those are the four properties of an ideal circuit breaker and all the circuit breakers practical circuit breaker should consider these properties the designer should consider these properties while designing the circuit breaker but definitely the selection of circuit breaker is made based on the rated current that is required and also the short circuit current that system has based on that the circuit breakers are selected if you are interested in learning more about circuit breakers i have a custom playlist made for you which talks about circuit breaker i'll provide a link for that uh, down in the description as well definitely go and check it out so that is all about this video guys if this was helpful then do let me know via commenting helpful in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning